In this video, what we will be doing is performing a full breakdown on a pair. And the reason for which I want to provide this full analysis is to show you exactly which are the key concepts that you have to apply in your own training strategy and trading plan when you are actually analyzing the market and searching for opportunities. So the video will be very educational and practical because you will understand exactly which are the key concepts that you have to look for when you are actually analyzing the market and by the end of the video you will also see exactly what kind of opportunity we can be looking for on the pair that we are currently analyzing. So without further ado, let's get straight in the video. Now if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the TradeView platform and I share free education and analysis every single day so I really suggest you do subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all this free education and i will see you in the video today i want to make a full breakdown of the situation that at the moment we have on euro gbp now why do i want to speak about euro gbp the market on this pair just followed exactly what we wanted to see from our previous analysis and obviously now it's time for an update to see where is the next opportunity for this pair so let's make a full breakdown and as usual i will keep it very educational so that you will learn some very important concepts that you need to have when you're actually analyzing the market so first we will be looking at the technical aspect of this pair obviously we will be looking at the monthly the weekly and the daily time frame from a technical perspective to gain the directional aspect of the pair we will then go and see what we have from a cot perspective to see what hedge funds are currently doing on the euro and obviously on the gbp and obviously this gives us the possibility to gain an advantage over our competition in the market if we are able to follow the smart money in how they're actually managing their positions and by the end of the video you will also know exactly what kind of opportunity we can be looking for on the pair so let's get straight into the analysis now starting from the monthly time frame what do we have from a monthly perspective we consider the market has approached and rejected this very strong structure resistance area multiple times in fact from here the market started all this move to the downside again here the market tested and rejected this area to the downside again here the market tested and rejected its zone to the downside and here we have another two tests of this very strong structure resistance area all rejecting the area to the downside and definitely after this last test of this very strong supply we definitely would like to see a deeper rejection to the downside as in the previous cases going down on the weekly what do we see now from a weekly perspective what we can see is what we had already identified in our previous analysis in fact what did we say in our previous analysis we said not only on the monthly we have extremely strong supply all inside of this area but we also have on the weekly time frame a very strong bearish pattern in fact we had this overextended w formation testing the strong monthly supply from which we definitely wanted to see a move to the downside why because already from the monthly we wanted to see the move down plus we had this overextended w formation now in general if you don't know this pattern after the market creates a move like this so an impulse a correction a lower low and a higher high that breaks above both the previous highs you definitely want to see the market from here give you a move to the downside all the way down to the previous resistance which is now turned support which is basically the neckline of this overextended w formation so we wanted to see from a weekly perspective the market give us this nice move to the downside going down on the daily what do we see now from a daily perspective we can see that we had a market that was overextended to the upside and what did we say in our previous analysis we said from here we definitely want to see the market give us a move to the downside because first of all the market on the daily is overextended second of all on the weekly we have the bearish w formation third of all we also have from a monthly perspective all the supply inside of this area so definitely we want to see the market give us this move to the downside and the third it, the third confluence factor that we actually had was also that if we go and see what we had from a cot perspective so what institutions actually hedge funds were doing in the market 
we can see that with the last report, they had closed 9K short positions. So during this move to the upside that was fueled by the GBP weakness, institutions had started closing their shorts, meaning that they didn't expect much more continuation to the upside. Otherwise, they would have been basically adding more shorts if they wanted to Euro GBP to continue to the upside, because keep in mind that this move to the upside was given by GBP getting weak. So if they wanted to see the continuation of the GBP weakness, they would have been adding more shorts, not closing them. And if cleared, we see that they were closing their shorts. We don't expect more continuation to the upside. We expect a move to the downside. And that is exactly what we said from here, all the reasons for which we said from here that we wanted to see this move to the downside. And I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. The previous analysis before this one, what did we say? We said, we want to see from here, the market had created this M formation here, and we said from here, we want to see the market give us a nice move to the upside to test this previous support, now to resistance. So basically an M formation after which we expected the market to complete the pattern at the neckline and then create the continuation to the downside, which is exactly what the market did. And I will link as well also this previous analysis in which I explain all the reasons for which from here we first wanted to see this move to the upside and then we wanted to see the continuation to the downside. I will link also this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. And if you want to see also the reason for which exactly the market from here created this move to the upside, it's because from a monthly perspective, the market went to test exactly this previous resistance now turn support, which is a quick trick that you can use to understand why the market stopped exactly here. You can simply go on a line chart and by going on a line chart, you will see that the exact previous resistance now turn support is at this level here. And in fact, that is exactly the level that the market went to test before starting this move to the upside. And that is as well what we had already identified in our previous analysis, in which we said from here, we definitely want to see the market go and test this level before the continuation to the upside. And I will link all this previous analysis in description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. But where is the next opportunity for Euro GBP? Now to understand what is the next opportunity, you have to do one very important thing. You have to understand that after such a huge impulse to the upside, specifically from a daily perspective, after such a strong impulse and a correction, you expect the market at least to try to create a continuation to the upside. Now, can we expect the market to create a higher high? It's possible, but it's not very probable because from a monthly perspective, as we have already said, we have very strong supply at this area. So even though it is definitely possible, it's not very probable. The higher probability is that the market will fail to continue higher. However, it will at least try. Why it will try? Because that brings liquidity. If the market will try to go higher, what will happen is that most people will start buying, putting their stop losses below the lows. That is exactly what the market should go and hunt, failing to break to the upside and manipulating everybody in taking those longs. So how we will be approaching this situation with students? Now we expect the market to go higher and then to fail to continue higher and break to the downside. If this will happen, okay, so if the market will fail to continue higher and it will break down, that is where we will be interested in the next opportunity with students. Why we will be interested in that opportunity? Because if the market will break lower, what will happen is that the market will have created this M formation. And after an information, what do you expect? You expect the market to give you a move to the upside to retest the previous support, not to resistance. So if the market will fail to continue higher and break lower, what we will be doing during this move to the downside is monitoring price action on the four hour time frame. Now, why the four hours? Because the monthly, the weekly and the daily are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market. But the best time frame for entry and confirmations is the four hours. So during this move to the downside, we will be waiting from a four hour perspective for the market to shift from a bearish to a bullish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a bearish to a bullish market, 
we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the upside as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries. Now, one last thing that we have to check, we have to check what we have from a COT perspective. So what hedge funds are doing on the euro and on the pound. Now on the pound, we have already seen that they have not been adding more shorts, but on the euro, we still didn't check what has been going on. Now on the euro, what we can see, on the euro, we can see that we went from having from having 147k longs all the way up to having first 266k longs and then a decrease in the long positions, meaning that institutions have been taking their profits on this massive amount of longs. So euro is in profit taking phase, so we can expect some short term weakness for the euro since institutions are closing their lungs. And if you're closing a long position, you're simply shorting. So we can expect some weakness of the euro. And if the market will fail to continue higher, this will provide a nice opportunity. On the other side, if the market will just continue higher, then we will have to reevaluate the situation and see where is the next opportunity for this pair. But at the moment, looking for a buy inside of a monthly supply area is definitely too risky and it's not something that we will be looking forward to because there are simply better pairs with better setups to be following. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. you find it linked in the description. You first learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies in the program, and then you trade them live with me. In fact, every single day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops, take profits as well as having me answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in.